1025, George is going to be our next caller. Hi, George. Hello there, Paul. Hello there. Um, just before I go into my main point, um, I, I, one way I know that um, Craig White is doing a good job is when Graham Spears is attacking him. Because if you know Graham Spears is attacking him, he must be doing something good for Rangers. So that's the measure, how I measure someone's uh, effect for the club. But surely plenty of Rangers fans are attacking him. Uh, there are, but we know what you're all about. We know how you operate, and we know that your you, your reason for existing is to just put Rangers down. Oh, let, let, okay. Ben, let let me point. let me get let me get this right then. Let me get this right. Grow up, steeped in Rangers. Go to Ibrox repeatedly all through my life, and then you suddenly you think that perversely I would want ill of Rangers. Is that really your logic? Yeah. It doesn't, qu doesn't quite stack up, does it? To you, and since this has happened to you, you have, you have dedicated your life to attacking Rangers and more so Rangers supporters. Everybody knows it, Graham. You've got some kind of bee in your bonnet about the Rangers and anything you say uh, to attack the Rangers or attack anything that's do, it tells me that that person must yeah. be doing good. I think, you're getting slightly I think you're getting slightly carried away, but anyway, on you go. Yeah, I'm getting carried away. My point is, I'm actually phoning up about Scott Brown's elbow into the Inverness Cali player today on 74 minutes and 32 seconds that the referee chose to ignore. The Inverness Cali player got decked and he got up and he turned around to Callum Murray and made a complaint, but Murray just ignored it. My question is, do you think Vincent Lunny will be examining this case? That's the first question. The second question is, why did we not have 18 replays? We get 18 replays of Rangers taking a free kick two yards away from where the free kick should have been. 18 replays, because I counted them. Today we had no replays of Scott Brown elbowing the guy. Nothing said by the commentators, and I don't suppose you guys have bothered to mention it. <laughs> don't remember it. Of course you don't remember it. It's the same as the Hooper one. He's none of you saw the Hooper elbow in the mother of player's face. Nearly broke the mother of player's nose. Jim, I'll tell you, Jim, Jim, I'll, I'll tell you. You Jim, certainly remember the nation. Li li listen to how this guy's getting carried away. I'll tell you what the subtext of this is. It's a conspiracy against Rangers by yep. the media, by the SFL, by the SFA, by the United Nations, by Interpol. You can tell by the tone of his voice. I, I don't think we need to give house room to this kind of lunacy because it, it, it wastes time. But there was a conspiracy against Celtic last Exactly. Year. So That's the very point, yeah. I mean, you, you, With these characters that okay, see conspiracies everywhere. Ah, yeah, yeah, I guess exactly. It just wastes, uh, you know, broadcasting time.